Alright guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get zero input delay and more frames in Fortnite Chapter 3. First off, I'm going to show you guys how to get more frames and less input delay on console and PC. Then I'm going to go straight to PC only, just because there's more stuff that you can do on PC to get less input delay and whatnot. But yeah, let's just get straight into this video. Alright, the first thing you guys are going to want to do get less input delay is to, if you're on controller make sure it's plugged in and not wireless if you're playing wireless I don't know what you're doing because none of the controller pros do it everyone plays with it plugged in just for less input delay all right another tip is if you can use a monitor not a TV because monitors are made for gaming and also if you can find one get a monitor that has one millisecond delay it's gonna be way smoother than a TV alright now that we covered that let's get straight into the things that you can do on Fortnite to get less input delay and more frames alright first thing you guys are gonna want to do is make sure you have record replays off there's no point to have it on if you can just clip using share factory and video anything that you have to clip and it's just gonna be recording your Fortnite game the whole time you're playing so it's gonna be giving you more and more input delay and less frames so make sure you turn all these off and also the next thing you guys are gonna want to do is please 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 turn off the sync and motion blur there's no point to having them on well I guess there is a point to having them on but this will just see look at disabling it can give you better input response and more frame high frame rate see look at that it's really telling you that if you disable it you'll be getting higher frames and stuff all right guys the next thing guys are going to want to turn off is only for the game hud game ui whatever you want to call it this is the only thing you need to turn off for here and it's creative runtime performance please turn this off if you're playing creative it just will chew out your input delay and your frame rate so there's no point of having it on and if you have it on and you're not playing creative, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, that's the only thing you need to turn off in the game UI for this video. Alright, next thing is for the controller options. The only thing you guys are going to want to do for controller options. It is obviously turn off vibration. It's just, this is obvious. It leads to more input delay to your controller. And it will also make your controller kind of shaky and vibrate like it, like, like it says it's a vibration which can like cause your aim to mess up if it's vibrating while you're aiming whatever whatever yada 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 just please turn it off another thing you guys are going to want to turn off is your foot controller I, I guarantee you none of you guys play with a foot controller so please don't have it on it just there's no point to having it on and it also can affect your input delay and frame rate just having it on so just turn it off there's no point not to Alright guys, this is the only thing you guys are going to need to do for your audio to get less input delay and more FPS is go to your sound, obviously, and go to 3D headphones. Have them off, please. There's no point to having it on. Uh, also, if you guys really need to, turn song quality to low. There's no point to having it high. It might sound a little different, but if there's no huge effect. If you guys also go to subtitles, turn those all the way to the left, everything all the way to the left. Because subtitles don't matter. Only time they matter is if you're watching a live event, really. So you might as well have them all on the left. Alright, once you guys are done doing that, you guys want to gonna turn visual sound effects off. It actually will affect your frame rate a lot, especially if you're doing a late game scrim and whatnot. There's like 20 footsteps on your screen that will affect your frame rate and make it go down. So please turn that off if you really need it and turn it on. But I actually like to keep it on just because I can spot out chests and whatnot. And because I don't really play competitive. But if you are a competitive player, I recommend you to turn it off. Just because there's no point to having like 30 people's footsteps on your screen while you're in like the final zone. If you're like playing a scrim or something. And yeah, so yeah, that's what you're going to want to do is turn that off. Alright guys, this is all you guys are going to want to do for your profile, is turn off player surveys, also make sure show on career leaderboard is off, there's no point to having that on, it just tracks your Fortnite games basically, 
you don't want that running in the background while you're playing Fortnite. And yeah, just turn that off also. Alright guys, that's everything I have for all console players. Uh, it doesn't matter what console you play on, you should have all those settings turned off or low, whatever I told you guys to do. That will improve your FPS and lower your input delay. So make sure you guys do that. And uh, yeah, if you're a console player, probably finished watching the video. So if you haven't already, please subscribe since you just got those free tips and tricks and whatnot. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into PC only tips. Alright guys, for the next thing you guys are going to want to do is go to your settings. Go to, just to search up Xbox Game Bar. You guys are going to want to have it turned off because you do not want this running in the background. This will just like feed off your PC. You don't want this running off in the background. And yeah, alright, once you guys are done doing that, go to colors. And this thing should show up just turn off transparency effects you don't want effects going on in your pc i'm pretty sure it's nothing big but you just don't want that running in the background or anything like that so you might as well turn it off just to get less input delay and more fps once you guys do that you guys are going to want to go to your notifications and turn all of this off i don't know why it's not letting me turn this off i guess i guess i can't Something's wrong with my thing, but whatever. Just turn off notifications. You don't want pop-ups happening on your screen, notifications and whatnot. You don't want that happening while you're playing. Of course, not only is it annoying, it also will uh, feed on your PC a little, and might you might get a little a little frame spike and whatnot if a notification pops up. But yeah, you guys are gonna want to turn that off just because why not? All right, guys. Once you guys are done doing that, you guys are gonna want to click here search up disk cleanup it should show up and then you guys are going to want to go to your main drive for me mine is c that's my main drive it should be for most people you guys are going to want to click all this stuff this is stuff that has absolutely nothing in it it's just absolutely nothing and it's just taking up space on your computer look at that 396 megabytes of nothing you guys are going to clean it up click ok delete files because they're nothing there we go and you just cleaned up your PC a bit. I already cleaned mine earlier, but uh, I'll just skip that just because I don't know why I need permission. But everything else I'll just delete. And yeah, there we go. All right, guys, once you guys load into Fortnite, you guys are going to want to go to your settings and max your frame rate to whatever your monitor maxes out as. My monitor maxes out as 144. It's not a great monitor, but it's still good. And uh, for resolution, obviously, 1920 by 1080. And for window mode, you guys are going to want to keep that on full screen. Alright guys, quality presets are preference. But at the same time, if you want the most frames and the least amount of input delay, you guys are going to want to go all low and off and near. Except your 3D resolution. See, if you, if you do it normally, your 3D resolution will look like this. You get, guys do not want that. Look at this. This is what it looks like. You do not want your Fortnite literally pixelated like that. You guys are going to obviously want it that to max and then everything else to low. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys, if you guys use performance mode, I highly recommend it for all competitive players. Personally, I don't need to because my frames and input delay are fine, but I highly recommend it. I'll show you guys what performance mode will look like. Let me just restart my game. Alright guys, if you have performance mode, turn meshes on to low, not high. That's all you really need to know about performance mode for improving your FPS and whatnot. But if you don't have performance mode on and you need an FPS boost or input delay, uh, less input delay, then use performance mode because I guarantee you it will improve your FPS and lower your input delay. And yeah, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, I appreciate it if you guys hit that sub button. I'm, I'm so close to 3k subscribers and uh, yeah love y'all peace